Welcome back to Popsicles After Dark. It's finally time to catch up with everyone's favorite power couple, Frankie and Jackson. To recap, the duo moved to Boston so Jackson could attend Harvard University. Harvard was a fresh start for Jackson, and he was overjoyed to finally find a place where he felt like he belonged. For the first time in his life, Jackson was thriving. He was acing his classes, bonding with professors, and even making a few friends on campus. Long gone were the days of Abby's bullying and being repeatedly locker punched at school. In fact, Jackson even started a popular support group on campus for other victims of locker punching. Hi everyone, my name is Jackson Jekyll and I'm a victim of locker punching. Hi Jackson. But not everything was perfect at Harvard. While Jackson was doing great for the first time ever, Frankie was, well, she was just there. We have to get ready. What was that While Frankie was obviously overjoyed to see Jackson thriving, she began to feel increasingly lonely in Boston. She was used to doting on Jackson, but now that she was in a new city without her friends, she felt a little lost. She had abandoned her own goals to follow her boyfriend around, and eventually she had decided she had had enough. <laughs> oh, oh, that's classic! Okay guys, I gotta head back to the dorm, but I'll see you tomorrow morning in advanced math for analytical thermodynamic properties within metaphysical aquatic avery species. You got it, bro. Hey, we're still planning on studying together on Friday for our test in advanced math for analytical thermodynamic properties within metaphysical aquatic avery species, right? Of course! See you guys! Hey, Jackie, when we get home, can we talk about something real quick? Oh, uh, I'd love to, babe, but I really need to start working on my content for next week's Locker Punching Anonymous meeting. Oh, well, it's about something really important. All right, uh, I could try to pencil you in my schedule. Okay, babe, I'm off to the library to pull my third all-nighter in a row. I'll see you tomorrow after class. Is it gonna be another night in of staring at the window longingly for you? Yeah, that was my plan. I was thinking I might do some bird watching. Oh wait, didn't you have something you wanted to talk to me about? If it's about my hygiene, I promise you I'm gonna start showering again soon. It's just really hard to find the time when I'm taking eight classes this semester. No, it's not that. Jackson, I've been thinking about this a lot since we moved here and um, I'm not too sure if I'm happy. I love that you love Harvard, but there's not much here for me and I'm starting to feel like I need to branch out and find myself. What? What do you mean there's nothing here for you? You have a lot going on with, uh, going to the grocery store once a week and binge watching Grey's Anatomy. I just feel lost, Jackson. It's nothing against you. I just, I need to pursue my own goals. I want to be Frankie Stein, not just Jackson's girlfriend. I'm so sorry. What are you saying, Frankie? I, I think we need to break up. Or at least take some time apart for a while. What? I know, I'm really sorry. I still love you deeply, but I just can't thrive here. I need to reach my own goals, and I can't do that while I'm living in your shadow. This doesn't have to be forever, okay? But you need to focus on your school here, and I need to discover myself and the world. Frankie, wait! It doesn't have to be like this! I'm sorry, Jackson. <laughs> So, uh, Jackson did not take the breakup well. Hey Jackson, just checking in. Uh, you weren't in advanced math for analytical thermodynamic properties within metaphysical aquatic aviary species this morning, and, uh, I was pretty worried. Call me back. Jackson spent the next few weeks sinking into a deep depression, so real, honestly. He refused to leave his dorm, stopped attending classes, gave up on his locker-punching support group, and for the first time in his life, his grades started slipping. Hello Jackson, it's Professor Featherweather from your advanced math for analytical thermodynamic properties within metaphysical aquatic aviary species class. Uh, I'm just reaching out because you're now at six absences in my class and you're at risk of failing the course. Please let me know if I can help you in any way. 
Luckily for Jackson, his best friend Gil had heard about the breakup. Being the caring friend that he is, Gil quickly hopped on a flight to Boston to check in on Jackson. <laughs> there, there, bro. It will get better, I promise! <laughs> no, it won't, Gil! This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me in my life, and I've been buried alive on more than one occasion! Time will heal all wounds, my friend. Think of this as a new chapter of your life. I mean, come on, you're attending your dream school. You're right. Oh, thanks for being such a good friend, Gil. How long are you in town for? As long as you need me to be here. Gil spent the next few weeks caring for Jackson 24-7. The bond between these two friends had always been strong, but with Gil and Jackson spending so much time together in the dorms, something felt different from the days the pair had spent as friends in high school. you enough for taking care of me like this, Gil. I almost feel like a functional person again, all thanks to you. I don't ever want you to go back home. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. I don't want to leave either. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have- No, it's okay. What does this mean for us, Gil? Whatever we want it to mean. I like that. Let's see where this goes. Alright class, I'm going to return your exams from last week. Overall, you did a great job on the test, although a few of you could benefit from some extra studying. Yes! Another 100! I got a 100 too! Oh man, you guys did better than me. I only got a 95. What about you, Jackson? How'd you do? Uh, it's Jackson. He probably got extra credit and got like a 105. Um, um, I... Excuse me! You're home from class already? What happened? I failed my aquatic microorganisms exam! What? Oh no! But how? You've been studying so much! I don't know! I've never failed a test before! I've been so behind from all the classes I missed after my breakup. I guess I just... I, I'm a failure! Come here! You're not a failure! I don't know what to do, Gil! This means I'm gonna have to retake the entire class! Oh! Hold it, this is just too much. I need a break. It'll all be okay. Why don't you take a break? From school, I mean. I mean, you've been working so hard nonstop since high school. Wait, you mean I should drop out? Well, not quite. But you should take some time for yourself to heal and figure out your next step. Maybe start with taking the next semester off. Oh, well, I'd never really thought about that. Maybe you're right. We could go back home for a little bit. You could live with me and my book collection. Oh, nothing sounds better. Let's go home, Gil.